<laughs> sit, sit. All right, little disclaimer about what you're gonna see. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna, so when, when it was dark, when it hey, was night that's not, we're not telling them the story yet, they need to see the footage oh, first. Oh, I kinda wanna hear what he's gonna say about it. <laughs> so we had an insane night last night, and you may have seen some of the stuff Haley posted on her Instagram. Little disclaimer, we were woken up at 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning from a dead sleep. So the first clip you can see is me in pure, pure panic mode, okay? And then you're gonna find out why. Let's jump into it. Okay, this is really scary, but I feel like I have to document this. We're, we've got a fire up above our house. Right there. And we are hurrying and packing up everything that we feel is important. Luckily our house has sprinklers. When it was built, we've only been in this house for a week and a half. But we're getting everything that's important. And we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah. I think we're doing good on time though, so don't, don't I think we're like I'm so grateful that we've got we've had ourselves a warning. I'm not worried about our house because of those sprinklers. I'm just grateful that we have had, we've got time. I know, I know. Babe, we're gonna be fine. I'm s like, just be grateful we've got time. We've got lots of time. Holy sh Okay. And we are. No, 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 we're not gonna get trapped. Don't worry. No. Just don't think of it like that. Like, there's no way we're getting trapped. We just have to be able to get everything we need before we wake them up or it won't happen. Okay, all of our, all of our power just went out and the fire's getting a lot closer. Okay, yeah, it's right up there. We're doing good. I'm just so grateful that we had time to do this. Sounds like Haley's woken up the boys. Can you grab some papers? Yeah. All of them? Just a He still hasn't come over. Let's get, let's get Lucas situated. What else can we get for him? Hey, bud. Hey, come here. It's okay, come here. Hey. Hey. And we're downstairs, Mom. Let's just freak out because, um... Come here, Mom. When my dad and Mom woke me up, they said, hey, well, there's a fire on the mountain and we have to watch it. And I said, we gotta hurry before the fire, before the fireman puts the hose out and blows and washes yeah, the so fire. Yeah, so we didn't want them to be scared or him especially, so we told them we wanna just go watch the fire. So he's like, okay, let's go watch the fire. Come on, Nick, just follow me. Hey, we gotta go quick. Come on. Yeah, come on, yeah, hurry. hurry. Get out to the car. The fireman doesn't spray that water up yep. on the mountain. It's dark. Come get in your car seat, come on. And I will You're ride such a my good bike boy. outside. I promise I will ride my bike outside. Hop in your seat, quick. Dad. What? My mom reminded me because that toy dinosaur was real. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure what you're saying. Let, let's get all the rest of our stuff and we'll come get you, okay? We're just gonna be right here. Oh, so we basically ran around looking for the bare essentials and I talk a little bit about it later, but you, we just bought this brand new house, amazing things, right? And in that moment, when you see fire coming towards you, you don't care about any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, get the stuff that we need. And we looked around, we're like, this is all worthless, right? Get the kids, get in the car. Literally just like peeked into like Nixon's room, was like, oh, yep, nothing else I need in here. It was like, nothing looked important. It's a cool lesson to learn, because it's like, we're, we just bought this amazing place, and, and all of a sudden um, we realize it's not that important. So, yeah. This um, is what matters. These oh little my. kiddos, seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna do one last run through, I think we're good. And look, we're still good. I just like I said, I don't wanna get trapped. Because all of Travis Mountain is gonna be coming down that hill. Yep, house. yep, I know. Let's go. Well, we have the best way out if we go to 146. I feel like it's climbing up a way, which I hope. It's definitely coming close. Okay, let's go. Alright, um, this is 
the best we could do. We have a car full of all of our stuff. How are we doing, Nix? You good? And we're low on gas. We gotta go get gas. Whee! Oh, wow, yeah, it's like Whee! right, right there, guys. Okay, um, shut the garage. Can't believe we're driving away from our house um, with just our belongings. Wow, so I'm basically sweating my guts out right now. That's a crazy feeling to like leave your house right now. Oh my gosh, it's just right there. And it's midnight, right? So they're 1.30 in the morning. We just woke up from a dead of sleep. Luckily my mom called Haley. Luckily you answered. And we were able to get at least what we think we need. We got the boys right out of our house. The good thing is our house has a sprinkler system because we are on the mountain. Thank goodness. So if the fire does come down here, our house should stay Can at least somewhat intact. Hopefully save most of our stuff, but we will see. Okay, this is weird to even be talking about this right now. Fire trucks are getting ready. That's not good at all, huh, buddy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wanna go up there. Okay, so those flames right there, that's above our house, so I'm feeling really good. Basically, it's just going over that way. So crazy thing is that our old house that we sold last year is like way close. Oh my gosh, yeah, the majority of the fire is going away from us, so that's good. Our old house is actually right, right there. Yep, there's the flames, look at that. Unless that's the other side. It just got really bright. Whoa. Are you filming the fire? Yeah. You're doing so I'm good. I'm still filming. You're wow, doing great. It makes me like, I'm like, wow, it's nice how many people I've gotten messages from who are checking in on us in the middle of the night. It's so nice. Why aren't you popular? I got well, like No, three. like it's, <laughs> it's just like everyone, like why isn't everybody sleeping? How did everyone know about this? I don't know. I'm so glad I had my phone on loud. Like I never oh. have my phone. And I, I even thought about it because I think I heard you text me before you got home last night. And I was like, I should turn my phone off and, um, and or just in case someone calls me. Or we, would've, we wouldn't have woken up. Oh, for sure. I, heard, I thought your alarm went off and I just was like, what the heck? And then I saw you, your face when I looked at you and you turned around. I was like, that's not good. And I heard my mom's voice and I was like, oh, this is bad. Well, I was like, why is your mom calling me? My heart sunk <sighs> when she started calling because I looked at the it time. It like it's getting brighter right there. Okay, so we are pretty dang close to the fire now. And that's a cop. So this is pretty close to our old street. This cop's like, no spectators. Oh, look at that flame right there. So this is probably only a mile from our old house. Not even, oh my gosh, look at that house. Is the house on fire? I feel like that house might be. Oh my gosh. We saw the fire and my mom said, it's a house on fire. And, then, and you said, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> house on fire. I feel like that house might be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's get, let's get out. That's crazy. They're fighting it right there. I don't think it is, but it is right there on that house. And so, my, I said, um, um, what will, what will happen if the fire comes to our car? I think the fire's gonna come to our car. No, I don't think so, buddy. I would never let that happen, okay? And what did I say? You said, um, um, we have to turn around and drive away. I said, I would <laughs> never let that happen to you, huh? Mm -hmm. I would keep us, our family safe and I would drive away. Yeah, turn around and drive away. That's right. What will happen if the fire comes to our car? We would turn around and drive away. Yeah. Oh, that would suck to be that house right now. Oh. There's firefighters sitting right there, so that just tells me that no homes are on fire. They're probably just trying to keep that one safe. I don't think so, buddy. Whoa. Well, there's our thumbnail. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <gasps> Going. This is really bad. Oh my gosh, it's gonna get that house for sure. Holy shiz. Oh gosh. We are in the, the money spot. Right? I want to get going. Early, they're fighting it. Nick, just wait, buddy. 
Trees on fire now, right there. That's right next to the house. Yeah, buddy. It's just that big tree. That one? Just right there in front of us. Can you imagine that being your house right now? Okay, I'm gonna turn around now. Dude, can you not see that? Dude, can you see that? Do you see that, Nixon? <laughs> Okay, so we decided to come over here and just wait so we don't get off the mountain. This is our old neighborhood. This is the park that Nixon used to play at. This is the swimming pool, just to give you guys some. I know I've told you guys where we're at, but this is like crazy. All these homes right here, literally right on the line. All right, so we drove like a mile and a half away from the mountain. And that's what's happening. Luca, what is it? What was it? Did you see it? Dead. Dead? Dead? <laughs> oh, okay. Are you excited just like we've been? We have a party in the middle of the night. Wow. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? How you, how you doing? Good. <laughs> you feeling good about this? Mm -hmm. Glad that we're safe? Mm. Me too. But I don't want the fire to burn our car. No, it's we're too far away now. We're gonna get some gas real quick, okay? But Dad, yeah. I want the fire to blow away over here. I don't think it will do, we're okay. So that's where our old neighborhood is. And that's where we just were. We are just over there. So we are looking good. I've never had that feeling or adrenaline rush before. That was crazy. And then no, and then not even that, but just knowing like grabbing the bare essentials like as quickly as possible is crazy. What a weird feeling. And just not knowing what's going to happen or what's going to be left and just grabbing like just imagining everything being burned. But in that moment, it's kind of cool because you're kind of like, I don't need all this stuff. I just need these things. So I grabbed like memories, pictures, hard drives, computers, and that's it. Other than that, all the other stuff can be replaced and you realize what's most important and your kids, obviously. You see it? Oh my, that's crazy. <laughs> my. That's crazy, huh? Right. So you guys can't really see, obviously. That's the hill that we were looking at about an hour ago. You can't see anything which is great that means the fire moved away we actually came back to our house all the power's out so the whole street everything's just blacked out but you can't even see the glow really anymore so that's good so that means we're in the clear for now but we're back home we just have to deal with the power being out and kids that are wide awake now and us too adrenaline's been flowing and so we woke up this morning completely just like well, did that really just happen Oh, what do you see? Oh my gosh, it's still up there. Did you see the Facebook Live video? Of the helicopter? And then we found out that it had burned. We saw the Facebook Live video and we saw all of where the fire had gotten. And it really, it was coming west, which was towards our house. And then the winds shifted and pushed it towards the east, which was where our old neighborhood was, which is where we were. And it had lined the entire back of the community. It was not looking good for many reasons. The flames were headed towards Dad. homes. There were kids hiking in the hills Dad. above the fire. The wind was howling and fanning huge flames. Dad. Then something happened Dad. that I've only seen yeah. one other time at another bad fire. The wind stopped. It just stopped for no logical reason. It just went calm. I'm not saying this was a miracle, but I'm not saying it wasn't either. It gave us more time to get homes evacuated and firefighters and equipment set up. Heroic firemen and policemen did what they always do, charging into the danger to save life and property. It's crazy how like, the guy, he was just like, though it was like a perfect storm, like the wind was so bad and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, like it just completely stopped, which when we went outside to pack up, like there, there was, was no, no wind. wind. But yeah. when I got home, it was so windy. So this morning we woke up and I saw a Facebook video of how close the fire got to the backs of the homes in our old neighborhood where we did that video of the flames right across all of them. And she was just reading a report from the, who was it, the chief firefighter? I mean, you heard what it said, it was a miracle. Like the, the wind up here is always pretty bad and it just stopped. It was, it could have been so much worse. 
And it was pretty far from our house, but with looking over that hill and seeing that glow like that, that was terrifying. Knowing what happened in California and seeing all those homes go, that's all we were thinking about was that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look, look! I'm helping you, no way. Look at you. What happened was a miracle, and then besides that, it rained. Oh yeah. Like, like seriously, a I freaking like, miracle all morning. Is this morning. raining? And then went outside, it poured for, I mean, not that long, like 10 minutes maybe, and was pouring rain. There was thunder too, but um, like, yeah, just out of nowhere. And it was like 100 degrees yesterday. Super hot this morning and also it's pouring rain. Um, so apparently Luca crawls upstairs now. <laughs> hey, hey what did you think of that? Here he goes. Wow, look at that. I know. Oh, oh, oh. He's like so determined. He tries to like just step like how we do. I don't want Luca to crawl upstairs. Well, what a happy ending to this crazy video. Look at him. Good job, buddy. diaper. Luca has changed. He is a new no. child. He crawled and all of a sudden he's not chill. He's, he's always hyper. He's always moving, which is good for Nixie. He's gonna have a really fun brother to hang out with, but it's really hard on us right now because Luca just wants to do everything. Oh, there he is. And there he is. Okay, last words. Say the last words. Okay. Just say the final words. So, um, <laughs> when the fire got, um, when the sun came up, there's no fire, and when it was dark, we just drove in, and we just saw fire. Did you see that, Dad? Okay, now I want you to tell them, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like our video, and comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching our video, and what's next? Make sure to like it. What? To like it. To like it. Comment. Comment. And subscribe. And subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Sub subscribe. Sub if that doesn't make you want to push that subscribe button, I don't know what else will. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.